the truth, I am the goat, I am the proof, you can reach every one of your goals, you can be too drunk, way too high, but it's never too late to have hope, I am the one, I'm gonna preach, you can reach every one of your dreams, you can be up against the whole entire world and you can beat them if you just believe. <laughs> Why does it look like that? Look at that! It's probably just something in settings I need to change. It's the same color as mine. Look at it, it makes your beard look thicker. It's just because blonde, you can see through blonde. Oh, I don't like the color of my lips. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> hi guys, hi guys, hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome back. Guys, welcome back. To what seems like the last tom friday of the year oh bummer but maybe maybe it doesn't mean that they won't release a girlfriend boyfriend song between now and the end of the year it just means that he's not going to be making any new music between now and the end of the year yeah although he does put a lot of work into promoting yeah new music so yeah I don't he's know. always got to create new shorts with it too i mean i hope he tashka stop i hope he um does take a break he deserves it yeah yeah so but i'm excited for tom friday and if it's just for the rest of this year it's yeah. not that huge of a break <laughs> it's only two months yeah can we believe that that election day is almost here we won't get into that just yet. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk about it after. The I can't believe though what that how that thought started was. I can't believe it's November already. Yeah. Like this year just flew by. Kind of did. Okay. We ready? Yep. Let's get right into it. Okay. Goodbye, Joe. Goodbye, Joe. Goodbye, Shade. Here we go. America is going woke. The streets are full of fire and smoke. This ain't the mm. way I thought it would be. Yeah. The White House full of evil folks. Americans ain't free no more. They don't mm. respect folks like you and me. The way we treat it ain't been fair. Fake news on every TV. For years we've been in this nightmare. What a killed American <laughs> dream. We mm. can't afford our lives here. Ran food and gasoline. Colors don't run, and I only want it once. Buddy, don't tread on me. Mm. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah. this is great so far. Um, yeah, like um, yeah, I I love how he's pointing out like how it's like living here isn't cheap anymore. No, it's it's everything is so expensive. It's hard for. The it's like there's no middle class anymore. No. It's like you're either rich or you're just or you, you're just poor. Yeah, um, and I mean, how what a what a disappointing surprise when you get here. You're coming to the land of the free and the home of the brave, the great old United States, and then this is what he gets. Yeah. Ugh, I don't blame him for being disappointed. Yuck. I like that he acknowledges that the people in the White House are evil. That's yeah. a flat out call out you guys are evil plain and simple yeah there's no other word to describe them it's yeah. evil. yeah i mean it's it's to be expected too because really the the degree to which you have to kind of sort of be a psychopath in order <laughs> to be a politician in the first place mm -hmm. like it, it's it's a really high probability that you, you that's the only way you can actually function to to their degree to whose degree like to being oh, like to that be high a, in politics a psychopath yeah, yeah. like you kind of have to be a psychopath to in order to to be able to lie and manipulate and deceive and to and to do it with no conscience exactly and, yeah to get up and just flat out lie yeah um and do it with no no conscience whatsoever. It's yeah. gross. Yeah, yeah, you have to be a, a psychopath. All right, let's keep okay. going. <laughs> but yeah, I like it. No, we gotta go back. Oh yeah. These colors don't run, and I only want it once. Buddy, don't tread on me. I won't forget the ones who died for our freedom, and I ain't gonna hand it back. No, no. 
Yay, men! Amen. And that's exactly what I feel like we're doing is just if if they cheat and steal this election and we don't do anything, we're just handing them our freedom. Just saying, here you go. And I'm sorry, but the people that died for this freedom, it is more valuable than to just allow them to do this. Yeah. I mean, oh, there's I'm so already, glad there's you already said that. some sketchy stuff going on. Oh, with uh, the election, yes, Elvis. Thank you for for that. Yeah, Ellis, if you're watching, um, that was actually confirmed, and they even made a statement about it, which was it just we it can just, put it up on the screen. Yeah, I'll yeah. put both up on the screen. Their their statement is just dumb. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just BS through and through. Yeah. Um, somebody accidentally hit the go live button. If we don't, if you don't know what we're talking about on the election results, and it went to live TV. It was like an F one rally too. Yeah. So I mean, lots of people just, watching. Just a random thing. Down at the bottom. Yeah, we'll put it up there. But anyways, okay. So I'm glad that. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, their statement was that they tried. <laughs> they were testing as if like this was this was new technology that needed to be tested like you guys have been doing this for a long How ass many time years and if you're going to run a generic test yeah like you why not wouldn't put... skew the numbers yeah they, they would just be like... 50 50 or zero zero or both hundred hundred something like that if you're just doing a test but they very obviously skewed the numbers in her favor. You know, if it was Trump who had the numbers skewed in his favor, I would still be pissed. I would, yeah, I would still be taking issue with it because they're not supposed to be they're counting it. Exactly, like they're not supposed to be doing anything yet. Yeah. Ugh. But anyways, okay, go ahead. All right. Amen. Burn someone else's flag. She's so pretty. We're fighting over memes and jokes. They're burning flags that we hold close. They think that war's only overseas. Mm. Yeah. Man, that's a nice truck. Holy crap. What were you going to say? Um, They think the only war is overseas. Mm -hmm. is, like, it, it has... It, I, I personally think that... Man, revolution and civil war truly is right around the country. Oh, absolutely. Or right around the corner. I hope it's a revolution because civil war implies that I'm going to be fighting my neighbor and I don't have an issue with my neighbor. I have an issue with the government. Yeah. You know, my issue, my neighbor isn't the one... Well, to be fair, like, it's it'll, it'll really be a civil war against, like, Antifa and other organized armies that just randomly come out of the woodworks to try and stop us but from... what what is that ultimately going to prove civil war isn't going to prove anything no i know but like it the, the entire purpose of it will be to root out these people and drag them through the streets and minimize take their back numbers power. yeah yeah, yeah. i mean, well well something's happening something's going to go down yeah so the wars aren't just overseas people yeah okay go it's back because right we were you were talking about the truck it's a nice truck. I want to hear that again. Go yeah, back, because I like her little attitude. She. This sounds so pretty. No, you guys, because that's the part I wanted to hear.
Amen. I love it, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, it has not slipped my notice that not once has he said goodbye, Joe. <laughs> like, at the end of the chorus, he did. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm Never mind. I'm, now you got me questioning Hold on. It. There you go. Oh, okay. Wave goodbye to Joe. Amen. Yeah, go to another country and burn their flag. Yeah. She don't look quite like she did. Mm. This ain't the country that our parents love. But I still hear her on the wind. Hmm. She's mm. still there. We love our home. And if you don't, pack I your bags, you're free to go. <laughs> don't let the big door hit you with a good low split. Wave goodbye to you. <laughs> Where the we good look split, yeah. You ain't famous. <laughs> Buddy will yeah. help you pack your bags. Don't let the big door hit you with a good low split. Burn someone else's flag. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Man, there's so much to love about that. I just, yeah. I want to listen to it again. I, I kind of, I kind of like Tom and Nova's more singy, less, less kind of rap songs. I say this that. Is, this is great. I say that. However, Danger, I listen to that a lot because that's an amazing Oh, yeah. No, I song. love, I love their rap but songs I do. too. She has got a very, very angelic Yeah, she's voice. got a nice voice. Yeah. It's, it's. I, I love hearing Nova's, like Singing even her voice. background vocals that yeah. she applies to Tom's songs. I, yeah, I kind like of the love. beginning of Clown World. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> super awesome. Yeah, uh, and Heroes, she does a lot of the vocals in that. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's got a great voice, so it is nice to to hear her singing voice. Yeah, um, and I love that they call this home. This is a nice drone shot, by the way. <laughs> it is. Um, but I love that they call this home. Yeah. They love this country more than most people that were born here. This almost looks like the other side of the Hollywood, Hollywood Hill. Yeah, but it's not. Yeah. I mean, this is obviously California Hills. That kind of looks like Jerusalem. The Mount of Olives up the top. I'm sure they're not there. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a California Valley. <laughs> I wonder how far out they go. Oh! I wonder... Oh, no. Did you say California what? A California Valley. Valley. I thought you said rally. And then I said, oh, maybe they did it. Maybe they shot it when they went to Coachella. Oh. <laughs> because they were out in the middle of... I mean, Coachella's out in the middle of nowhere. Like, it takes hours to drive to Coachella from oh, really? anywhere in California. Yeah. Huh. Um. So, I don't know. But, yeah, it's a pretty shot. Yeah. Hills and valleys... Super cool, guys. That yes. was that was an easy one to react to. It this was. would be an easy edit. We didn't have to stop it. Um, no, not it really. Was, yeah, I mean, everything was easy to yeah, understand. Yeah, I say I agree. What they said. Yeah, what they said. <laughs> what they said. Uh, I definitely want to watch it again though because I, I really enjoyed that. I like the, I like the tune. I like the catchy. It's got just enough humor. Yeah. Um, it's but it's still a real song with real words and things that matter yeah which there's not enough of that today yeah this is good stuff so good stuff i enjoyed that tremendously yeah burning yeah. flags get the hell out of here yeah, if you don't burn like it somebody else's and see how that goes for you yeah let, let me know how that works now <laughs> go over to russia and try and burn that flag <laughs> yeah no they'll just other they, they know they can't do it in other countries because other countries will execute them for absolutely. the dishonor absolutely but we get we let them get away with it here yeah sure we're a bunch of pushovers that gadston flag that's what i keep saying man don't tread on me don't do it don't do it don't do it and we'll let you do it and we'll let you do it and we'll let you do it but when we finally say enough is enough that's when we strike and that's what i feel is coming that's what i think is going to happen yeah however i will be praying and do not think that i will not be praying for us to wake up to the to the horn the trumpets 
to the trumpets <laughs> blowing. Yeah. And being called up to heaven so that we don't even have to do election day crap. Yo, oh You're my not even blood. listening to me. No, I think my 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 theory on this is even if they cheat this election and Kamala wins, most conservative Stop. people are probably going to wait until she's enacting her mm. gun forced gun buyback bullshit. Please tell him that we're, they're not going to wait. People are going to start shooting. Why would they in wait the for it to happen? Nip it in the bud before she has an opportunity. Because that is. Guns. Our way. That's no, how the that, conservatives I mean, that's do That's even it. gun safety at its violence. Like Jordan, we have practiced gun, gun safety, safety for the past seventy no, years. No, I mean in terms of it, just like a gun being used solely only for defense, and once you need to defend, then you go on the attack. We do need to defend. Mom, shh, God Almighty, stop arguing. <laughs> like this is just my this is just my perspective on it. I guarantee you. No, it's not. We will wait until we have to, until we have to defend. At which point we can then justify. We do a takeover. We we have to defend our democracy. Yeah. We I have know. to defend our constitutional rights yeah, and that right. means defending them while they are still in place not waiting for them to get taken away and then defend it Ow. do something with your dog Matt, Matt, what on earth are you doing what do you think he's doing what is he doing? he's trying to get up ah, life on a get pit up bull in my lap Ugh. Ugh. Life with a bully breed. He's a lap dog. Big old 78 pound lap dog. <laughs> um, uh, I was going to say something else about I it. am waiting, y'all. We have been called deplorables and racists and fascists and sexists and hypocrites and bigots and... What else? Did I say deplorables? Misogynistic. Misogynistic. Um, Nazis. Um, all of these things. All the buzzwords. Now yeah. the latest is trash. Hi, Modi. Yeah, we're all garbage. garbage. We're all garbage. They use the word garbage. I am waiting. Please, please let somebody call us white trash. Because if they call us white trash... We got a bunch of white trash. I got shirts. the merch ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hope somebody calls us white trash. Um, that would be epic. And then we'll know how to find each other when we're on the, the Capitol lawn fighting a revolution. We'll all have our white trash shirts on. So, anything else? No. You don't have anything to talk about? Let me know if y'all voted. The voting, early voting around here is kind of sketchy. They don't, they can't, around in our county, they cannot start counting the votes until 7 a.m. on November 5th. So, people that have voted early and think that their vote is being counted, it is not. It is being stored in a box in a back room. Now, she assured me it was in a locked back room. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it is. But. Well, I'm sure. So I said, yeah, that's a big no. I am not going to let my ballot, my my vote, be sitting in a back room somewhere. Meanwhile. It's locked in a back room with an incinerator for specific boxes. Exactly. Like. Exactly. It's already got, it's already wired up and ready to explode. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm not. Obviously, obviously <laughs> voting places don't have incinerators. But. The ballot boxes do because they're burning them those down. Yeah, they, they have burned a couple ballot boxes. Yeah. Um, Meanwhile, my nephew lives, what, probably four counties over, and his vote, he voted early, and his vote is already updated on the website. So, something sketch is going on. Why is Wake County not allowing their votes to be counted? You're just paying, petting your dog and not even listening to me. I am listening to you. You're talking why, about Jameson. Why is Wake County not counting their votes when Onslow County is? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, was like there's something right, weird yeah. about that. The difference is is Onslow County is where you've got Camp Lejeune, 
You've got Cherry Point, and that's County Over. You got a lot of military institutes. It's a very red county. Yeah. Whereas where we are is a very, very blue county. That's the difference. Yeah, that's the difference. So I'll be curious to see. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. I'm uh, I'm more interested in what happens after the election than the election itself. Well, the election itself is going to determine what happens after. Well, see, like my line of thinking is Trump's going to get another four years, and then that's four years that they're just going to ramp up their extremism and their hatred and their contempt. And at the end of those four years, I mean, we're, we're that's that's when we're going to have our hand force, and that's when civil war will start. I or can't... Or Kamala wins and Civil War starts much, 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 much earlier because she tries to take her guns. No, it'll start on November 6th. People will start getting things organized on November 6th. When we wake up, let's just say, if we wake up on November 6th and they did what they did, Trump was winning when we went to bed and when we woke up miraculously... All of a sudden, Joe's the winner. If they pull that crap again, we will absolutely start organizing. It's not going to come down to when she... We're not going to give her a chance to take our guns. See, that this is something me and Hannah talked about. I don't think there's... I don't think it's going to be capable for there to be a leader and there to be actual organizing to be done. Like, I think it's just going to be all out fucking chaos and anarchy... That's for, not how we roll. I know, but like the moment they're going to, I mean, you think they don't have everything monitored? The moment that there's any sign of organization for that purpose, they are going to shut it down. Well, then we'll go back to Morse code or smoke signals or using a telephone. <laughs> yeah. We'll bring back the pay phones. I'll use carrier pigeons. Well, I think it'll, it'll, it will have no choice but for it to start out as. How did they chaos and then as as it goes on then we would organize together. Jordan, how did they organize during the Civil War? They didn't have telephones. They didn't have Yeah, they internet. organized together in person. No, when they needed to send orders to other troops of where to go and what to do, it was all done by letter. Horseback, man and horseback. So we'll go back to that if we have to. Yeah. We'll figure out a way. But I don't think we're not going to allow it get to the point where she takes our guns or heads down that path. We're not even going to let her get that far. Mm -mm. She'll be she'll be booted out before yeah, that. Yeah, I happens. wouldn't put it past most of conservatives to wait until they decide to to carry out that order. And that's when that's when most conservatives will be like, "Nope, fuck you guys. This is it." I hope not, because to me. That's just allowing them. What if they don't... Okay, what if they decide that they're not going to do that until the last... Day 364 of day four of her pregnancy. Pre pregnancy. Presidency. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then they decide that they're going to take our guns. Then she's got from that day until January when the new president comes in. And they have all of that four years to organize everything, get it all ready, and put it into action on her last day of sign that order. And they'll go around then. That's giving them another four years of this. We're not going to let it get to that. I think we're already at the point of flipping tables and calling them douches. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Righteous anger. In which case, once it's all said and done, if you ask me, just from my perspective, I, I think the church needs to step up and reclaim some of that power that was taken from Truly them. get separation of church. No, that was never actually what see, the I forefathers that, intended. See, that I, is actually more of a liberal... Mm. Interjection that happened later. Okay, it, your government is the one that says you got to have a marriage license. The church says you don't. No, but the, it used to be the church that oversaw marriages, though. That's that what was, I'm saying. That was the whole point. So, but if you get separation of church and state, then you don't have to worry about 
Yeah, I mean, marriage marriage laws would revert back okay. to the church. Okay, that's, so that's what I'm saying. The government would have their hand out of that, which would the be absolutely The government doesn't huge. need to be in the churches. I don't feel yeah. at all. At all. Well, I mean, ideally, a, a properly run, like... Unfortunately, I think the only the only choice to actually get it done would be the Eastern Orthodox Church that's here in America, um, because Eastern Orthodoxy, like they are very strict about maintaining the oral followings of the structure that Paul and Peter and and the first saints established how the churches are supposed to be run. And when you're that meticulous about making sure that everything is in accordance to the Bible, well, they should also be running the government. You know, I think I think the church should be the government. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, obviously, with, with that. well, see, the only the only example that we have of that is Catholicism, and obviously, Catholicism is corrupt because they don't they follow. They follow what Eastern Orthodoxy follows, plus like additions that they threw in later on that completely skew okay. what just Eastern Orthodoxy. So it Orthodoxy. didn't work for them. No, that's just. It didn't work. For it them. didn't work for them because they initially started out just corrupt from the get go because mm -hmm. it all started from them keeping the holy text from people keeping mm -hmm. other people from reading it and then making up shit like purgatory and you can <laughs> you can save your family members if you give the church money and <laughs> they've always been corrupt yeah um but eastern orthodoxy i mean romania for example like romanian culture is is still very respectful of god and and it's like they they okay. believe very heavily in Jesus, and that's all Eastern Orthodox. That's run. a country founded. Our country is founded on God and godly principles, mm -hmm. which Eastern Orthodoxy would okay. uphold. Regardless, Eastern Orthodoxy, Southern Baptists, Roman Catholics. The point that I'm saying is, our country was founded on those principles. So as long as your country is following those principles then there should there should be no church and government crossover you see what i'm saying yeah i mean the, i think the church you, and the state need to be completely totally different entities yeah you keep keep the government. Out I mean, of the church. only idea. I I guess that would make sense if you reduced the government enough to where it really just operated as as a military force. I'd be in okay which with case, that. in which case, the church would be the authority in terms of maintaining order. Okay. So if that makes sense. Yes, I can see that. Yeah. More than just the church. Joel Osteen up there running things. Yeah. At which point, like, I think... You don't I, even laugh at my jokes. Sorry. <laughs> Freaking Joel Osteen. <laughs> um, at which point, like, I don't, I don't think anyone would really argue that we shouldn't have a big military and that we should pay taxes in order to be able to fund a military to maintain that military. and if that was the only thing we had to pay taxes on i don't i, don't, I can't imagine anyone logically arguing against that yeah, no um no i wouldn't argue that a bit if yeah. i knew that that's where my tax dollars were going and they weren't going to pay for any transgender other? surgeries yeah. to inmates in prison yeah um or transgender surgeries period or aborting otherwise healthy babies yeah um sure i'd support to pay for a strong military 100 percent. yeah yeah 100 percent. yeah and you bring god back yeah. to our country yeah. godly principles back to our country and morals moral compasses will start to realign because you've got prayer back in schools. You know what I'm saying? People were going to be doing things. Oh, there wouldn't even... I don't even... 
I can't imagine if the church reestablished that much power that there would even there wouldn't even be public schools anymore. Like it would it would go mm-hmm. back to to being majorly homeschooling, and and also the church being there as a core part of that to be able to help single mothers. Why is it just single mothers that? Or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not single mothers, stay-at-home Homeschool mothers. mothers, homeschooling, yeah. Um, because yeah. that's something that the church should help in, like this is all helping build a community between stay-at-home moms. And... You know, this is a discussion for a perfect world. In a perfect world, I mean, this—it's not even really in a in a perfect world. Like you this can't is... force people nowadays. They've been too brainwashed. You cannot force people to go back to godly principles and he doesn't want us to force people to do them he's a gentleman he's not gonna force anything on anybody he wants it to come because you want it to yeah but i mean even the way even the way that paul and peter set up the churches after jesus i mean they structured it to where the church still had authority over over basically everything they didn't have authority over pontius pilate well, I yeah, obviously there were other ruling. <laughs> they were they were still in captivity, but I mean after that, <laughs> like how the churches grew and and I understand what you're saying, but it, it's a, it's never gonna happen. I don't think it's ever gonna happen. We're not. I think it could happen. <laughs> I think that actually is a possible outcome. Uh, well, I'm sorry, it could be a probable outcome. Um. I don't think so. I mean, Mm-mm. considering most conservatives are believers, mm-hmm. statistically, I can't imagine it being super hard to put it past the majority of them. Like, hey, look, we're all Christians. Like, let's let's give authority back to the church. I can't. I can't imagine a ton of conservatives having issue with that. But see, then it's going to come down to what church. Well, I mean, that's where the Eastern Orthodoxy steps Okay, up. but there's going to be somebody that says, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do this one. I want it to be this. Well, the Presbyterians are going to want it to be them. Well, and since the we're redistributing are... power here, at this point, this is where the women get pushed to the side and say, <laughs> hey, look, you weren't the ones who just took this shit back. We were. <laughs> we're going to discuss amongst ourselves logically what we should do, and we'll let y'all know what we're doing. What'd you decide? And when you say we're the ones who just took the shit back, don't think that I'm not going to be out there. There's going to be women out there fighting with you. Okay, sure, 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 sure. The three or four women that actually take part in the Civil War, they can be amongst the ones that are that are vocalizing Whatever. their opinion. Okay, because I want to be part of it. <laughs> the rest of y'all who sit at home cuddled up on the couch. Oh, I'm sure that's what's going to be happening when there's Civil War going on around us. We're going to be sitting, cuddled, H- huddled up, watching Netflix. Sure. Huddled, huddled up in the in the bathtub, scared out of your mind. <laughs> they have to protect the children. <laughs> yeah, huddled in the bathtub with the kids. <laughs> Protecting your lineage in case you die. No, I know. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm saying, like, at that point, if we're going to go back to traditionalism, it's like, no, y'all. You don't get a vote. Yeah, no. We're going back to the old way. I love you, things. but you don't get a vote. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. And that goes to women in leadership. Yeah. <laughs> but we won't get That's a topic for another time. It is a topic for another time. <laughs> I mean, it's not entirely black and white, there is some gray. You know, it's just, it's unfortunate that what requires leadership, good leadership, it's just statistically on average, it's going to be men that fulfill that role. And if there are some women who somehow exceptionally enough do also possess leadership qualities, well, when you stick them up against 20,000 other men who possess those same qualities you're kind of going against the odds that there isn't going to at least be one who's better than you. Yeah, I agree. (laughs) No? Yeah. So. I agree. But we said that's a topic for another time. Yeah. Anywho. (laughs) (laughs) Hi, guys.
Thanks for hanging Thanks out. Thanks for hanging <laughs> out. <laughs> we went down a lot of different rabbit holes yeah. this time Talked around. Talked about lots of stuff. I mean, we talk about lots of stuff every time we get together. White trash army. <laughs> White trash army. Hannah's getting off here in 12 Yeah, hours. I got to go home. I got kitty cats to feed. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to send you some pictures of the baby kitties and put up a couple pictures of the yes. baby kitties. They're so Cutest cute. batch of kittens yet. Oh, they really are. They're so cute. So cute. cute. Yeah, but I'll, I'll send some, him some pictures so he can put them up there. Okay. So, okay. And then we do have another pregnant mama. Yeah, Bela, her, her kitty Bela. The one who has been in videos with us, the gray and black, well, silver and black one. Who at this point is arguably the biggest kitty she's got. No, mama's still bigger is than Is she her. still bigger than Absolutely. her? Absolutely. Mama's much? also got three years on her, Yeah, though. true. So, yeah, Bela's, I mean, I think Bela will end up being bigger than Piper, but Maybe it's yet. just her fluff. Like, she's got a lot of fluff. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, she's going to be having babies. So Spook's babies, the babies that we got right now, will go home at Christmas time, and that's when Bela's babies will be coming. It's mm. right around Christmas time. God, I can't wait. So we need to come up with some cute Christmas names. <laughs> oh, that'll be easy. Well, I want unique names. Oh, I know, but the, I'm Rudolph saying there's like millions and, and millions. Frosty. And yeah, no, no, I mean, there's millions of Christmas movies to pick from. Millions of, of different myths and lures and... You know, Christmas movies, I have to say, I really have not watched that many of the traditional Christmas movies. I don't really care for the traditional Christmas movies. Like... I was going to say Nightmare on Elm Street. Miracle on 34th Street. <laughs> so I don't even know that one. Not watch that. A Wonderful Life. I've never watched it the whole way through. Yeah. Um, the only Christmas movie I can say that I have watched all the way through and watched multiple times. Oh, I'm going to shoot your eye out, kid. Christmas I hate Story. That. I hate that stupid movie. <laughs> I remember every time someone wanted to watch that when I was younger. I remember thinking, like, why? <laughs> like, that's the... That and him, uh, that's the only interesting part of that movie. <laughs> Shoot your eye out, kid. Yeah. I like when he gets his tongue stuck to the flagpole. Oh, yeah, I guess there is that. <laughs> but otherwise, it's just like a meh. <laughs> meh. Like, I watched it once. I, I, I get the reference now. I didn't need to watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that one, that is one that I have watched all the way through. The only other Christmas movie that I've probably watched all the way through is uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That's up there. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Um, I'll go on record as saying Die Hard's probably one of my favorite um, Christmas movies. Yeah. I mean, I was going traditional <laughs> Christmas movie. Die Hard is definitely. I mean, Die a Hard's getting movie. pretty old now. Like, it's almost. It's, it's, I guess you could almost consider it a traditional Christmas movie. True. It's probably 30 years old. I want. I, how. 1988. So 1988. That's four years older than you, and you're 32. So 36 years. Mm -hmm. It's been since that movie came out. Yeah. Holy crap. That's kind of a traditional Christmas movie I guess at this so. point. At this point, yeah. <laughs> but, but I do. I. I mean, I, that is on my Christmas movie list. Maybe Scrooge. Uh, Scrooge McDuck. What was what was his his movie? Scrooge McDuck. Yeah. Um. Ah, oh, fuck! I can't remember the name of the movie, but I did watch that a few times when I was a kid, and that was pretty decent. I, where, where Scrooge, Scrooge McDuck gets visited by the ghost of Christmas past. Yeah. I mean, that's the Christmas traditional Christmas. Yeah, story. there was there was a Scrooge McDuck. Version, version of that, of that. yeah. <laughs> I don't remember yeah. that. No, yeah. can't say I've watched that. I'll even play it up on the screen. Some of y'all might know. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever even heard of Scrooge McDuck. What? Yeah, Polar Express. I don't know that I've ever yeah. watched that the whole way that, through. That's that's something I've seen. I think once or twice, and it's like, nah, I don't need to see it again. No. Um, what's the one with Jim Carrey and the Grinch? Grinch. I mean, I could enjoy that because yeah. I relate to the Grinch. 
<laughs> Fuck Christmas. <laughs> it's such a waste of time and money. It is. And, and stress. And, and it's not even Jesus' birthday, y'all. It's not even Jesus' birthday. Don't buy into it. Just enjoy the day. The entire y'all. Christmas holiday, Jesus maybe gets mentioned 8% eight, 8 of it. Yeah. It's horrible. <laughs> so just don't do it. Yeah, just don't do it's it. It's just consumerism. Yeah, exactly. Boy, okay, we're done. Say we're goodbye. done. <laughs> Say goodbye, Joe. All right, come back next time. Whenever that will be. Next year, or like perhaps. Will we the see them up. before? We'll we'll meet we'll meet up before we go over to see DJ and we'll record a video for the revolution. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we go I mean, DJ. are we not are we not gonna do anything on election day? Give our thoughts or the day after what we think is gonna happen? How we'll like we'll just kind of play it by ear. Everybody's just playing. That's what all my customers say. Like everybody's like, oh, my appointment's gonna fall after election. We'll just kind of play it by ear and see what's happening. Yeah, I'm not really planning on anything beyond election. Like I, I need, Brr. I need to, I need to see what happens. What's yeah. gonna be the fallout? Yeah. Yeah, like it's real. So. Yeah. Good luck. May the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs> I know they're in mine. Um. We'll meet on the White House lawn, I guess. I'll be the one with the white trash t-shirt and a boombox playing America by Tom McDonald. I mean, I think we're pretty easy to point out regardless. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't be too hard to find Especially him. Especially me, I kind of stick out. Yeah, you do stick out. Like 6'2", like 260 pounds. Yeah. All right, so happy Thanksgiving. Yep. Merry Christmas. Yep. Happy New Year. If we make it that far. <laughs> you don't think we'll make it to New Year's? Just a little while ago, you were saying you were going to wait. That the conservatives are going to wait to take action until she stakes her when she stakes her guns. She won't even be in office by then. I mean, I'm on your side. Like, I hope it. I, like, I hope it, ha- it leads to action quick. I just don't think it will. Mm, I think we've reached our breaking point i think we've been nice long enough we've kept our silence long enough we've just sucked it up and said this is horrible this is not how it should be long enough then now we're finally going to take some action that's what i think anyways just remind everybody the first revolutionary war was fought over a two percent tax on tea Mm -hmm. keep that in mind they didn't like being taxed two percent on tea I can't wait to pull out chunks of rainbow hair. <laughs> sure is. I can't wait. <laughs> like Tom said, I want to joke the woke until they struggle to breathe. <laughs> yeah. We will finally be the majority again. Even though we've always been the majority. Oh, yeah. We will be finally be treated like the majority again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we can all live in peace and harmony. We can. We've done it before. Yeah. Um, so anywho, okay. go back to being the deciding culture. Yeah. Yes. Normal human, normal American human people yeah. need to be the deciding factors. Yeah. Not the minority green haired crazy whack jobs. <laughs> Women with armpit hair. <laughs> Guys playing in women's sports. Guys with painted fingernails. Yeah. Well, Tom paints his fingernails. I haven't seen him do it in a long time. I have seen him with black fingernail polish. Yeah. I don't care. I mean, the the ones that will be out there in the streets, I'll be fighting. I mean, they got got little droopy man boobs. (laughs) Drinking soy. (laughs) You know. (laughs) <laughs> they'll be easy to spot they're put it easy that to way spot. all of them they're all easy to spot yeah yeah they're all a little effeminate so anywho that'll get us canceled we're trying <laughs> really hard <laughs> <laughs> i don't think people make it this far into it enough to, to get offended like i think if people get offended they, they're not really watching reaction videos to tom anyways <laughs> probably not <laughs> no have we ever been reported uh, not to my knowledge no huh 
Okay. You know? Even the... Never mind. I won't bring it back up. He's I mean, trying I, to I tell want, you something. I, I know. I want to say the only people that I've ever gotten hate from were just douchebags, I think, in the hog community still. So it's not like it was disagreements on worldview or anything like that as much as it is like, oh, you're not reacting the way I like. <laughs> you're talking too much. You're talking too much. <laughs> I don't have a channel of my own, but I'm going to tell you how to run yours. <laughs> Fucking douchebag. <laughs> tell us how you really feel. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Until you start your own channel, like, just shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> you need to put all of that with oh, all of those I, I bleeps. Will. Yeah. <coughs> okay. All right. Bye, guys. Is Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, guys. Come back next time. <laughs> next year. Next year. <laughs> Is that's what you're doing? That's what I'm doing. Okay. Love. Love. Love, Love y'all. Love and blood and fire. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know the hell. I am the truth. I am the goat. I am the proof. You can reach every one of your goals. You can be too drunk, way too high, but it's never too late to have hope. I am the one. I'm going to preach. You can reach every one of your dreams. You can be up against the whole entire world and you can beat them if you just believe.